Osmosis is the reason for many natural phenomena to occur, especially in animal bodies. In my previous video, I have already explained what osmosis actually is. Osmosis is the phenomenon in which the solvent molecules flow, flows from lower concentrated region to higher concentrated region. That is, the solution in which there is more amount of solvent to the solution in which there is less amount of solvent. Then only solvent will flow, right? That process is called osmosis because they travel through the semi-permeable membrane. Semi-permeable membrane means those type of membrane that allows only the solvent molecules to pass through it and not the solute molecules okay if the solute also passes that is diffusion not the osmosis there are some experiments that can uh, that can be done in order to understand osmosis properly so in this video i am going to explain the theoretical portion of that the first one among them is the pig bladder the pig bladder experiment this is the first experiment that can be used to show the osmosis phenomenon. Now, for this experiment, some apparatus are required. Some apparatus are required. Those apparatus are a thistle funnel, a thistle funnel, a pig bladder, pig bladder. Pig bladder is very hard to be found. Uh, so, let's understand it theoretically only beaker beaker and distilled water and distilled water and finally and salt solution salt solution so these are the apparatus that is required for uh, this experiment to be done here this distilled water and salt solution are in chemical part but these are the things that we need now let's see what we actually need to do we need to take a thistle funnel the thistle funnel actually looks like this right now we need to take this a uh, pig bladder and we need to put it like this in such a way that there won't be any gap for anything to get inside it this is the first step that is figure a we need to take a thistle funnel and we need to put the a uh, pig bladder in the open part of this thistle funnel so that nothing can get enter from this portion Pig bladder actually acts as semi permeable membrane. Now, in the second step, what we need to do, we need to take a beaker in which there is liquid, distilled water. Okay, we are keeping a distilled water. Now, here we also put the salt solution. This is the salt solution. Okay, salt solution. We can take sugar solution as well, but salt is cheaper than sugar. That's why. Uh, I suggest you to take salt solution if you want to do this experiment actually. So see, now we put this thistle funnel into this beaker. This is distilled water, okay. This is distilled water. Now, we get a figure like this, right. This is the thistle funnel and here, this is the marking. The solution that is the sugar solution was up to this a this is the marking point now if we leave it for some hour then what will happen slowly the level of the sugar solution rises slowly the level of the sugar solution rises initially it was at point a now this will rise to b it will reach till b and after some time if we notice the thistle funnel again then the water level will be here but the sugar solution level will be somewhere here you can see over here the level of sugar solution is higher over here this is c this is a this is b and this is c then obviously the level of the sugar solution increases we get this type of result but how does this happen what is the reason for this happen i have already told you this pig bladder acts as semi permeable membrane that means it will allow the solute to pass but the solvent sorry it will allow the solvent to pass but the solute will not pass in distilled water is there any solute particles no but in salt solution there are some solute particles then obviously this is concentrated region right then what will happen water molecules will start to enter through this 
semi permeable membrane okay it will start to enter through this semi permeable membrane and the level of sugar solution keeps on increasing keeps on rising because more and more water molecule is entering in this here also this is the concentrated region right salt solution that is, the, there is still salt solution and this is distilled water there is no uh, there is no impurity or there is no salt over there then obviously water will keep on increasing through this pig bladder that is semi permeable membrane and finally this process will stop at point c somewhere at point c we are considering it arbitrarily they, that may be anywhere inside the liquid layer or outside doesn't matter but yeah we will see some point where the phenomenon stops now how did this volume increase osmosis because water molecules are entering from outside that is osmosis so by this method we can prove osmosis is occurring we can know that osmosis phenomenon is actually possible and it actually occurs now why does that stop now let's understand why this phenomenon stops at c now see over here this was the this was the upper level of this salt solution and this is the upper level of this water we can measure this height by measuring this height we can measure the weight of the liquid so the phenomenon the phenomenon stops stops at c because because the weight because the weight of the salt solution because weight of the salt solution becomes equal to becomes equal to the osmotic pressure osmotic pressure osmotic pressure is the minimum amount of pressure that is required to stop the osmosis phenomenon so when the water sugar solution level reaches to point c the osmosis phenomenon stops because the weight of this water becomes equal to the os uh, osmotic pressure now this is the rising liquid we can see there is this rising liquid rising liquid and here the rising liquid actually stops so this is the peak bladder experiment we can get everything thistle funnel uh, picker distilled water salt solution in lab but we have to buy this peak bladder from somewhere to show this experiment you can also use parchment paper or cellulose in order to prove this osmosis phenomenon 